Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to another episode of AdventureCraft Tutorials. So today we're going to be count. Uh, excuse me. Today we're going to be dealing with store blocks. So essentially, they look like glass blocks, but instead, if you'll notice, they have an item in there, and basically, this is used for you know stores. Obviously, if you want to have a certain currency, like this dollar bill sign I have here. Uh, you know, if you want to have currency where they have to have a certain amount, like let's say $6, and they want to buy, I don't know, bombs, ammo, bread, whatever. Whatever you want. It's all up to you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so basically what you want to do is, if you go into your inventory here, you see how there's those two little dots. That basically just means that it's infinite. It can never break, it can never run out, whatever. So we're just going to right click a couple times, get like about $8 worth. And then this is bread here. We're just going to right click once and get bread once. So the way to uh, mess around with, um, the way to mess around essentially with store blocks is, um, sorry, just give me one moment. This is actually kind of an annoying part. There we go. So the way to use store blocks, the way to set them to what you want it's pretty simple. You just want to have um, both items in your hands. So if you'll notice in my left hand, I have the money and in the right hand, I have the bread. And then you just right click on the store block here. And then we have here, it says set items. So basically that means that if I click on it, that, Hey, look, the item I had in my left hand, uh, the $8 is right there. And then the bread, which is in my right hand, is on the right side. So now, if I simply right-click on it, uh, excuse me, I have to exit debug mode, pressing F4, if you guys didn't know. And if you right-click on it, then my money disappears. And now I've got another loaf of bread here. Um, and that's basically how store blocks work. Um, I could have set both of these if I wanted to. It's not really that important. Um... I mean, and that's that's basically it. It's pretty simple stuff. Um, you can have it for anything. Uh, you know, you could have it so this eraser here is for the hammer. I just use the money for the bread selection because it's pretty basic. So, I mean, it could be for any item you want. And that's just how you set it up. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, leave them. I'll answer it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. And I will catch you guys next time for next episode or next tutorial, I should say. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys later.